Hello everyone, it's JoshyEgg56 here and welcome back to another part of the Toadstool64 tutorial series. This is part 4 and today we're going to mess with textures and text basically. So let's get directly into it. Alright, let's start with editing some textures. Now the really easy way of doing this is going over here and clicking edit textures and then you can see all the textures you can edit with Toadstool64 itself. You can just use the arrow keys just to uh, navigate around. You see a preview right here. The left side is the actual texture and the right side is I believe something of a background. I'm not quite sure and sometimes you have two textures as well. Uh, let me just find some texture we can edit. All right, once you found the texture, you want to export it to a PNG. Click that and just click OK here. I recommend you to make a new folder inside of your Super Mario 64 ROM hacking tools. You should end up there. If you're not ending up there, just navigate to that folder. Right click and do new folder and then just do textures. Then double click that folder and hit save. Then grab your file explorer and head on over there. And you will see the texture right here. They're really small, but uh, that is because the game is also really small. So I recommend you to have some kind of image editing software. I personally use either GIMP or Paint.net. For this purpose, I'm just going to use Paint.net because it's really useful and really simple as well. But you can do this with Windows Paint as well, but it's not a good thing to do if you're doing really advanced edits. So let's just maximize this. Let's just zoom this a little bit in. We'll get a little bit blurry, but doesn't really matter. And let's just transform it a little bit into a different color. Let's just say it was a really hot summer and the grass kind of died a little bit. So let's just make it a little bit more yellow and then just hit save. Save it under the same name. And then just close that out. Close your file explorer. Go back to Toastal64, then hit import from PNG, find your file and double click it, and then you see it changed over here. If you ever wanted to uh, restore the default texture, click revert texture from ROM, and then we'll reset the default texture. I can't seem to get that to work for some reason. Then I would recommend you to save the edited texture under a different name. Just make sure you save it in a different name and keep the original texture so you can import that one under the option import from PNG to restore it back to the default one. Alright, let's just launch the ROM and see that it worked. As you can see, it's just only some of the grass, but it, we replaced a really specific texture. So you can see some of the grass is replaced. This gra grass with the flowers, that's a different texture. If you look in the Toadstool64 right here, we replace this texture. And if you do what I just did and load the ROM and try to edit something in Toadstool64, you get a script error. So make sure you exit the ROM first, then go back to Toadstool64. As you can see, we didn't edit this texture, which is also a different one for the grass. That was the texture in the game that didn't change. So make sure you update all of the textures. So that's a really easy way of doing it. But if you want to change some textures that are not in here, you need this N64 rip program. So just open that folder up. This is the program and it looks really confusing, but it isn't really. I'm going to leave a link in the description to somewhat of a page like this, where you can add some of the non Toastal64 texture addresses. And basically what this means, these addresses, you can put those in uh, N64 rip and you can export those textures and modify those without having to use Toadstool64 and be limited to the textures you can use. So let me give you an example because I know that was really confusing. So get the address for the texture you want to modify and just open up your ROM. Then get the address, just paste that in there. Make sure you haven't got any spaces. Click preview. And as you can see, we have the star right here and we can modify this. So if you do export to, we can save it. So we'll just uh, do star dot 
PNG because it doesn't give a default name like Total64. And then you head over to your texture folders. You can see we have it there. Let's just do the same thing. Let's open it with paint.net. Then we're just going to make the star a different color. And I'm just going only going to do the star because these are the numbers, if I believe. What color should we use? Yeah, let's make it a little bit more like yellow. This is yellow. All right. And like I said, save it as a different image. So do like something like this, star dot mod or something like that. Just to indicate that you have modified it. And the star.png is the original. So save that. Exit that all out and go back to N64 rip. Click import and get your modded star. And as you can see the texture changed. And then you're basically done because you have imported it. There's no apply button or whatever. So exit this out and see if we got it working. Yep, there you go. You can see it right here. A little bit of a texture change, but uh, not too quite of a change. I should have made this really more obvious, but you can see the change if you're really looking for it. So here you have the original one. Let's do a side by side comparison. If I can even. See, this is more yellowish. This one is more orange. You can do the same thing for the Mario hat. As you can see, Mario had icon. Just grab that address. Go back to N64 rep. Open up your ROM. You could just leave that open even. Oh yeah, could not open ROM because it's open, yeah. If you get that, make sure it's closed, guys. Make sure you don't have the ROM open in two programs at the same time because that don't work. So we'll go preview and as you can see, there's the Mario hat icon and for some reason I also got the star in there. Don't know why, but you can change it right over there. So and then the last thing, text. And uh, we can do that with Super Mario 64 text manager. So just double click that and it will fire up. First of all, you need to open ROM because otherwise it ain't going to work. So open your ROM. Just leave it a little bit and then you should see that it opened up. Let's just do really stupid edits. Let's just uh, call call it Goomba Battlefield. And then just click save. We have Goomba Battlefield over here. And you can also see I got rid of a space there. And we can also see your star or star uh, texture there again. So that's really nice. Anyway guys, that has been it for this episode. We'll see you guys in the next one where we're going to explain warps. So see you in the next one guys, bye bye.